let's solve some previous year gate problems from uh, the chapter psychrometry moist air at uh, 35 degrees celsius and 100% relative humidity is entering a psychrometric device and uh, leaving at 25 degrees celsius and 100% relative humidity okay so this is the initial condition with which the air moist air is entering and uh, this is the final condition okay the relative humidity is remaining the same okay so let's uh, see it on our uh, psychrometric chart here we plot dbt that is dry bulb temperature and this is omega which is specific humidity increases upwards dbt increases in uh, this the arrow of direction okay and uh, these are the constant relative humidity lines okay this you know that so phi decreases and uh, this line is i mean this line represents the line having 100% relative humidity okay 100% phi so we are moving on this line and uh, the moist air was entering at 35 degrees celsius and it is leaving at 25 degrees celsius so let here be 35 degrees celsius and here will be 25 degrees celsius because dbt increases in this direction so we are moving from i mean we are moving in the downward direction on this constant relative humidity line okay this let this be okay the name of the device is okay so when we are moving in this direction what happens at 35 degree celsius let this be specific humidity omega 1 and at 25 degree celsius let this be specific humidity omega 2 so as uh, we get to know that omega 2 is less than omega 1 that is specific humidity of the leaving air is less than that of the entering air the device is a dehumidifier okay the device is dehumidifier okay it's not sensible heater it's not sensible cooling because specific humidity is varying so these are not the options and it is dehumidifier okay our next problem the next problem is uh, moist air is treated as an idle gas mixture okay it's, yes we actually assume this uh, of water vapor and dry air molecular weight of air is given and the molecular weight of water is 18 you know this at a location the total pressure I will represent this total pressure by PT is 100 kilopascal okay uh, the temperature is 30 degrees celsius and the relative humidity is 55 percent that is phi is 55 percent 0.55 okay given that the saturation pressure of water at 30 degrees celsius is 4 to 4 6 pascal okay so the saturation pressure of water vapor should be water vapor yeah the saturation pressure that is i will be represented representing it with pvs at 30 degrees celsius is 4 to 4 6 pascal that is the pressure which is exerted by the vapors when the air is saturated okay so this is pvs and it is equal to 4 to 4 6 pascal we have to find the mass of water vapor per kilogram of dry air and that to in grams okay so basically we have to find omega and when we find omega by this relation omega is equal to 0 0.622 pt sorry pv upon pt minus pv okay pv is the vapor pressure pt is the total pressure okay so when we find out a specific humidity by this formula we find it in kilogram of water vapor per kilogram of dry air okay but be aware that be aware that here you have to find the mass of water vapor per kilogram of dry air 
in grams okay so whatever you get the value of omega multiply it by thousand because you have to fill the answer in grams okay many mistake many students actually committed this mistake in the exam so we have been given some data phi is equal to 0 0.55 and the relative humidity is equal to pv by pvs i've explained the terms uh so pt is known to us pv we have to find so that i can find out omega and uh, there is a relation there is a value of relative humidity given and relative humidity is equal to pv upon pvs that is uh, the vapor the pressure exerted by vapor at 30 degrees celsius and the pressure exerted the pressure that would have been exerted if the air would have been saturated okay so that is pvs so pvs is given as 4246 0 0.55 into 4 to 4 6 Pascal this will give me PV okay and uh, it will be uh, I guess it will be 2335.3 2335.3 Pascal so PV is 2335.3 Pascal I can put the value here okay that implies omega is equal to 0 0.622 PT is in kilopascal so pv i'm directly putting it in kilopascals 2.3353 kilopascal upon 100 minus 2.3353 okay solve it uh this will be kilogram of water vapor per kilogram of dry air okay that implies omega is equal to this will be 0. 01487 kilogram of water vapor per kilogram of dry air okay and uh, you have to put the answer in i mean find the mass of water vapor in grams multiply it with with thousand and you will get the value as 14.87 14.87 grams of water vapor per kilogram of dry air this is our answer okay the question was simple but uh, many students committed the mistake here okay let's move on to the next question okay so uh, if a mass of moist air contained in a closed metallic vessel is heated then it's uh, okay you have to find whether I mean what happens to relative humidity or what happens to specific humidity so the mass of moist air is heated in a closed metallic vessel so closed metallic vessel means that the mass of uh, moist air in this vessel remains same okay so that implies the mass of water vapor in this vessel will remain same and the mass of air will also remain same because it is closed metallic vessel okay so that means omega will remain same so c and d options get cancelled out and uh, we know that relative humidity is equal to i mean that is denoted by phi which is equal to mv upon mvs that is mass of uh, water vapor in the in the air upon mass of uh, water vapor that can that an air that air can carry when it is saturated okay so uh, as the temperature increases as the temperature of air increases what happens the moisture carrying capacity of air also increases with the increase in temperature moisture carrying capacity of air also increases okay so mvs increases as it is heated as temperature is heated so phi decreases because mv is same because it is a closed vessel so relative humidity decreases okay if you want to uh, plot it on the psychrometric chart uh, you can see here these are the relative constant relative humidity lines so omega is constant that implies 
we are moving in the horizontal direction from point 1 to 2 okay and uh, suppose this line denotes phi 1 and this line denotes phi 2 and uh, in this direction phi 2 is less than phi 1 we know this from psychrometric chart so relative humidity decreases okay uh, next question ambient air is at a pressure of 100 kilopascal uh, dry bulb temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and 60% uh, relative humidity the saturation pressure of water vapor at 30 degrees Celsius is 4.24 kilopascal kilopascal the specific humidity of air in grams per kilogram again the same question and you have to give the answer in same units in gram per kilogram of dry air so you see same type of question is getting repeated in the gate exam again 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 and again and in fact uh, they have again uh, asked you to find the answer in same units so relative humidity is phi is given as a 0.6 and uh, we have to find omega which is equal to 0 0.622 pv upon pt minus pv pv is the pressure exerted by the vapor this is total pressure and this we will be getting in kilogram of water vapor per kilogram of dry air okay but we'll be multiplying it with thousand to get the answer in gram per kilogram of dry air okay so uh, now we we have to find out pv because we know pt and uh, there's a relation phi is equal to 0 0.6 which is equal to pv upon pvs pvs is actually the saturation vapor pressure which is given to us as 4.24 kilopascal so that implies pv is equal to 0 0.6 into 4.24 kilopascal so whatever be the value pv will be i guess 2.544 kilopascal this is pv okay put this value of uh, vapor pressure here and uh, you can find out omega which is uh, 0 0.622 2.544 kilopascal pt is in kilopascals be aware of units okay take care of units 2.544 and this will be 0 0.016236 kilogram of water vapor per kilogram of dry air okay so we have to find the answer in gram per kilogram of dry air that is uh, specific humidity will be equal to 16.236 gram of water vapor per kilogram of dry air so this will be your answer and uh, the question has been repeated the difference is they have just changed the values so this is the answer okay 16.236 even if you they have asked you to fill the answer in correct to two decimal places even if you fill the answer with the three decimal places and your answer lies within the range it will be correct okay thank you